Hi, I'm Barry, and I have painstakingly dodged the rosebush and thorn, hurdled obstacles, but not stomped on the flowers in case you are wondering, yet lovingly measured out this space using Mojo One. Now, right, the thing is, you can see here on the Mojo Pro app, you can see the whole space is represented. And even though I have utilized Mojo One's vast array of path types to capture the complex area in which, by the way, I was able to seamlessly, seamlessly switch from line as a path type to arc to trace as I simply moved along. But now that I've done all of that, I want to change the path types. Why? Well, because Mosher will allow me to do that. And also in retrospect, I can get a far more representative measurement of this space. And I will say that it is advisable to change paths while measuring and that is easily done. However, maybe let's say I have forgotten to switch path types during the measurement or at a later date or time, I might decide that part of my measurement would be better represented by another path type. So let me show you. First, I am going to select the section of this measurement that I would like to make changes. So let's just see where I am. Let's choose the outer perimeter. Then let's go to the navigation bar at the bottom, select edit, which opens up the edit toolbar just above. Scroll across to the right until you get to the edit paths tool and tap on edit paths. And this will automatically select all of the paths. And, and despite the measurement being complete, I can now edit any path along this route. So just notice how different path types are highlighted in different colors to help you distinguish them from each other. If I tap the green path over here, it is highlighted. I can see the selected path is a trace line. We can see the total length also, which is, well, that's great, which is great. So moving along to the orange path, we are informed that the uh, type is, the path type is a straight line. Moving all the way around, Purple is trace line, blue is arc, green is trace line again, and so on and so on. So I will go all the way back to the green path, tap on it, it's a trace line, tap on change path type. I'll choose straight line so you can see what happens. So tap change path type, our trace line has changed to straight line. And to be honest, that is not the best representation of this space. I just wanted to show you the change. So I will tap the green path again, tap change path type. And because this path has three points, I can create an arc, which is what I want to do. So tap arc, tap change path type again. And there we have a well-defined smooth arc, which is a better representation of this area. Besides, changing, well, besides actually changing the path, uh, the type of path, you can also split and join paths. You can split the paths at each pause point to make them separately editable. So let me show you what I mean. So let's select the outer perimeter again, go to the right section in purple, that's the top right, select the pause point in the corner to split the paths. And we can see one section remains purple, straight line, and the other is orange. It is the straight line orange path that I would like to edit. So I'm gonna tap change path type, tap trace, and our path has been changed. And the drawing um, measurements are far more representative of this area. But perhaps I would like to join up some paths rather than split them. So let me choose, I'll choose the internal perimeter this time. Now here we can see this curve that we, here that we have two path types. The green path is in straight line. The orange is in arc. What I should have done during the actual measurement while I was moving along is measured it all out using arc as a path type, but I didn't. 
but this is easily rectified. I simply select the pause point between straight line path highlighted in green and the arc path highlighted in orange and tap join path and I, I get a notification on here stating that in order to merge these two paths into one straight line will be chosen as the path type and I'm actually good with that so I'm just going to continue now tap the straight line section highlighted in green where am I tap change path type tap arc tap change path type again and just like that I have an arc with the length and radius also noted on there and this is all thanks to the edit path tool within Mojo One. It enables you to change the path types originally measured which is great as it has allowed me to change path types that I chose during the measurement that perhaps well perhaps there should have been another path type. This edit path tool was created after listening to feedback from the Mojo One community and there is more to come and if you have any questions, any feedback, any suggestions, anything at all, please don't hesitate and you're very welcome. Just let us know.